Hi, welcome to Food Science Peeps channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Pearson's square calculation to determine the quantity of each component needed to produce a mixture with certain concentration. Pearson's square is a quick method that can be used to calculate quantity of components required to produce a mixture of certain concentration. Now, we are going to show you how the Pearson square looks like. As its name implies, Pearson square is a square, it also can be a rectangle. We mark the left-hand side as the initial materials we have which is A and B. We mark the right-hand side as the components that produce the final mixture which are D and E. The mixture of D and E give us the targeted concentration which is indicated as C at the center point. We can get D by calculating the difference between B and C. We can get E by calculating the difference between C and A. The sum of D and E is the weight of the final mixture. The A, B, C, D, and E are usually concentration of a component expressed in percentage. One of the application of Pearson's square is standardization of milk. In dairy industry, raw milk can be separated into two products which are cream with about 40% of fat and skimmed milk with about 0.03% of fat only. This can be done by centrifugal separator. In order to standardize the fat content in milk, the cream and skimmed milk can be mixed in certain ratio that gives a desired percentage of fat in milk. For example, given that skimmed milk has 0.03% of fat and cream has 40% of fat. In order to produce milk with 5% of fat, D equals to 40 minus 5 which is 35. E equals to 5 minus 0.03 which is 4.97. Hence, the final ratio of skimmed milk to cream is 35 to 4.97. Let's say we are going to make 200 kg of milk. By multiplying 200 kg with weightage of each component, we can get the final weight required for each component. In this case, we need about 175 kg of skimmed milk and 24 kg of cream to produce 200 kg of milk with 5% of fat content. We can also use mass balance equation to solve this kind of calculation. First, let's write down the mass balance equation of mixture. The sum of mass of skimmed milk and mass of cream equal to 200 kg which is the final mass of milk we would like to obtain. Then, rearrange the equation. The second equation is mass balance of fat. Let's multiple the mass with the percentage of fat. By substituting the first equation into second equation, we will get mass of cream required. Then substitute mass of cream into first equation, we get the mass of skimmed milk required. You will find that the answer is exactly same as the answer we got using Pearson's square method. You can choose the method you prefer to solve this kind of question. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.